Hi, this is a quick heads up before the landscaper comes back and makes noise right outside my door. I just learned something that I just got to get out there. For those of you, I've been talking to a number of you about my Genius XLS timeline. Video description has the link. Same link. I've not changed it. But there is, a, there are a couple of things that I need to say in this video to help you navigate it. As you know, there are three basic um, components of a civilization unit of 1050 years. 490, 70, 490. Each one of those components has to be qualified by believer votes or time ends. This is the precedence for the rapture and it goes all the way back to Adam. Israel had a special niche inside that rule that applied to her as a nation. And when the nation died because she rejected Messiah as a nation, then the, t the whole time rules went back to pre-Israel rules, okay, which were based on individuals, not based on the nation. Okay, you, you know that already. The other thing that you should hopefully know by now is that even though there is a historical pattern of 490, 70, 490, then it starts over again with the first 2100 years belonging to the Goyim. Okay, the Jews call that age of desolation, but their accounting is off now. Okay, they get the years wrong, but the idea is right. Then the second 2100 years was from Abraham to Christ. Christ was supposed to come at the end. He did. Again, the Jews got their, their timing garbled. But the idea is right, and he actually came. The Bible tracks all that information using its dates, using explicit numbers, and using meter. And I've been documenting that now since 2008. I found out about the doctrine in 2004. So I wrote it up in the web pages first before I knew what I know now. Okay, I've been learning still. Okay, that much you know. What you might not notice or much in Genius XLS, which is in the video description, is that the 490s are contiguous for qualifying purposes. In other words, first 490 historical was Adam, and he's the guy who actually won the 490, but he was it was 130 years into it before he won it. That was signified by Seth. 490 years, therefore, between Seth and Enoch. Tanuk, all right, that shows the contiguous 490 year timeline. In other words, by the time the 490 years, 490 years from Seth's birth means nobody else won it until the father of Enoch, and I forget his name, I think it's Lamech, okay? So that's where you measure the next 490, and then it's 490 from that sense. Now, if a f historical 490 ends before the f personal 490 ends, measured contiguously, that's okay. Then it means it's all right for history to continue. If by some chance, however, and this is what happened between Noah and Abram, if the 490 ends before the historical 490 ends, time would have ended with it. And Abram got his 490 in the very year that Noah's ran out. And that's what you'll see in the in the worksheet. Okay, fine. But what I didn't explain was that the cross changed the 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 timeline. Okay, well I mean I did explain it in the worksheet, but I didn't explain it the way Paul does. Paul explains the change differently than I do in my worksheet. And um I'm going to come back in a minute. i got to take a break and I'm come back in a minute and explain why. Hi, back again. I just, I just, I don't listen to myself when I talk and so then I forget what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. When, ta when Paul changed the timeline, both Paul and Mary and their meter changed the timeline at Christ's birth. Okay, and when I did the Juniors XLS worksheet, I was basing the 490s on his death. I'm sure that's, it's still right to base them on his death. Because David had a, a birth and a death measure for his 490s and his 1,000-year 1, 1, units. But I wasn't plotting the, the birth for Christ. Now, Paul and Mary both use an Anno Domini. Well, Paul uses Anno Domini. Mary uses something like an Anno Domini accounting that seems to be, this is really important, 
that seems to be patterned after the Roman AUC system. The question in my mind is, are they, is their version of the Roman AUC system the same as ours? Because Paul's meter is matching exactly to our BCAD system, which doesn't make any sense because we didn't come up with our BCAD system until Dionysius, Dionysius in about the 6th century. Okay, and he made a mistake. That's our, you know when we say Christ was born 4 BC, it's that's why because this guy lopped off four years, three four years of um, Augustus' reign by mistake. He made a math error, and we've been living with that ever since. So how come Paul's numbering system tallies to what we say are the BC, the AD dates for the Roman emperors? It doesn't always tally to what we say are the biblical BC and AD dates. There's a three-year variance sometimes. But measured in terms of the Roman emperors that the Roman historians follow, and they're using Roman AUC system, okay? Paul's tallying almost exactly. I mean, to the syllable. To the syllable. He picks for telema. He picks the Ada in telema. To, to mark the year in which an emperor dies, and he does it three different with three different emperors. Okay, he does it with um, Trajan, Macrinus, and Diocletian. So that implies that we've got a basis for an accurate correction of our calendar. All right, that's the first thing I want to say about Paul. But the second thing is that he's dating a brand new time period, starting with Christ's birth not his death. Now, there was an old time period into which he was born. He was born and was supposed to die 57 years before the 4th 490, 8th 490 from Adam. Okay? That was when he was supposed to die. It was encoded in Mosaic Law, the whole thing. If you've read my web pages and stuff, you already know this. But apparently due to his victory, due to his victory, Time measures over from his birth, not just from his death. So when I say that the 490, our current 490 is ending in 2130, you might lop off 30 years from that. Okay, it would be ending there, therefore in 2100, which makes a lot of sense. Um, when I say that our current qualifying period for the 1000, that some believers got a super mature. Um, would have ended, of course, in the year uh, 2000 or 2030, based on his death. Okay, so those are the corrections that I wanted to bring up. One of the other things I need to bring up is it's not only the 490 that, that he's remeasuring from, he's also remeasuring the, the 1000, which I didn't do in the worksheet, and I apologize, I'll have to fix it, but I won't be able to fix it until like 2014 or something. I've got too much to do right now, hence this video. You got any questions? Put them in the comments. Thanks a lot. Bye.